Alright, hello everybody and welcome to my channel. I'm Sloth Lord. And I'm bald now. That's happening. Moving on. We're playing some Until Dawn. Here we go. Previously on Until Dawn. <laughs> that happened. This this also happened. A lot of things. None of them nice. Quit it. <laughs> Here's our one-way ticket to the spirit realm. I've just been through enough spooking for one night, okay? I see a hot bath in my crystal ball. So have fun. Lord, you do this! This also <laughs> happened. Jessica! Oh my god! Oh my god! Shit! There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? Alright. Chapter 5. Dread. Just like I dreaded starting up this episode. Because some things have changed. That's not good. That's really not good. Alright, we've got some wolves and a man who walks amongst them with some kind of hatch. Very spooky hatch. No, by the way, you can't touch my head. Stop asking. I think the beard <laughs> messes with me more than the hair. Not gonna lie. Not having the beard is the bigger loss. I was gonna try and be Wolverine, but then... I uh didn't like the sideburns, so <laughs> everything else went. I just took it all off. I was like, nope, they're not working. Let's start over. Blank canvas. But now I am going to be uh probably like Wilson Fisk for Christmas. For Christmas? <laughs> For Halloween. Why wouldn't I end up in the creepiest place on planet Earth? My brain cells seem to have been attached to my hair. It is deemed unlawful for any person to use or occupy this structure forthwith. Starting 1990, 1954. Can I read? <laughs> is the question. Can I do anything? We doing this? Oh my god. Stop. That is so annoying. Don't have network features then, okay? If you're gonna be that way. Well, that was easy to get in. But do we want to be in? He's just going for it. I'm not even controlling him now. Maybe if you ask politely, say, hey guy, can I use your cell phone? Not that he, he probably doesn't have one. I would imagine. That. Okay, we need a security pass. So let's go find such a thing. I 
Well, you know. Admin. What's this say? Over here. There's a plaque. Look at that. So this place had only been open about 30 years. Before they condemned it. I wonder why they condemned it. Of course there would be dogs. Wolves, <laughs> more accurately. Darby wolves. Werewolves? They're wolves. What's this? What's this say? Huh. Oh. Dang it. I was gonna read that. Oh well. Let's move on. I'm not interested in reading. I'm interested in finding the security key. Okay, so that's not it. I can raise my hand. Teacher, I have a question. Where is the security key? And why am I talking like this? Sounds like a half attempt at a Larry the Cable Guy. What's this? Dr. N.H.F. Bowen. The initial state of the 12 miners after the collapse of the mine and subsequent rescue at Blackwood Pines. Dang it. I've got to stop doing that. Okay. So some miners were hurt. Not, like, children, but men in caves. Cavemen. Descending some stairs. I see a glow. A uh, bird. Oh shit. Gross. Okay, well, that's uh, a machete. Now I'm halfway through my Jason cosplay. I just need to find an, a, a hockey mask. Maybe I'll go find Chris. He had one. Well, let's not go that way. Okay. It's fun just to like raise his arm with the lantern and drop it and be like It's almost like he's dancing. What was that? Oh god. Some of these things it's like why is that what scared me? It's just, I let my guard down, man. I let my guard down. Well, that's... Lovely. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is this what he was feeding them? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh no. I did. I don't think I've ever. I don't. Oh no. Ah! What is it with these games and making me cut off my character's fingers? Oh. Shit. Oklahoma. Oh shit. 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 Just do it, man. <laughs> I don't think I've ever done that. Oh, 
right, that has some kind of consequence. Oh, good God. Mighty. Oh. Catch a tiger by the toe if he. Let him go. I don't know what the fuck to go. Okay. Yeah, same. Cool. <laughs> I don't think I've ever done that. Well, this place just gets better and better. Strange skull. I don't like that. Are you serious? Not gonna find a fucking key card? <laughs> really, except fingers. Okay, maybe. There's one on the body. Uh, this one looks non present. What's to say? A face, Nicholas Bowen. Okay. That's uh, the doctor. If anybody's got a key card, can you? not do what you're about to do game to me please can we not do that can we skip over that i don't want to open one of these up and something flies out at me i don't want to do it i'm not putting up with it i i will stop right now eaten by the attacker why did i lick my lips after that Okay. Uh, severe lacerations and all that fun stuff. A possibly fingernails. Boy, do we have a disadvantage. We've only got uh, eight, I think. He cut off two of his fingers. Don't. Don't do it. Okay. Okay, let's check this out. Let's leave this place immediately. <laughs> I just, I can't get out of my head the uh, worthy kids animation with. <laughs> Palpatine. That's so good. If you haven't seen Worthy Kids videos, check him out. He does a lot of great animations. I love him so much. But this particular one, he's got like these tiny little versions of Palpatine and all of them. <laughs> and like Darth Vader's like picking him up like he does in the movie. And Palpatine's like, Vader, what are you doing? Is this like a, a bit or something? Put me down. <laughs> and then Vader tosses him. Anyway, oh god. Okay, okay. It's only a wolf, it can't be faster than a human. That thing would be like nipping our heels at this point. I don't even remember what I was talking about now. <laughs> oh yeah, Worthy Kids. Yeah, check out Worthy Kids. <laughs> check out uh, the... Uh, oh, what's it called? The, the, the burger series he's got. It's so good. I forget the name off the top of my head.
but like it's like this food truck that sells burgers and they uh have like this rival oh god okay we'll just be chill okay we chill we chill okay easy boy easy easy that's a good boy Okay. Well, that went better than expected. My first instinct anytime I get a choice involving an animal is to not hurt the animal. I don't care about myself at that point. I will die for you, animal. Clippings wall. Very interesting. I hope that's not the same rat that was in that man's esophagus. Imagine the acid reflex you would have. Uh, the stogie stash exposed. We found stogies at another part of the world. I mean. You could find a stogie at various parts of the world. Don't eat me, box. Don't be a mimic. It's a bone chest. Maybe this will keep the wolves fat and happy. Fat and happy. Alright, let's go give the dog a bone. friends now we are amigos I shall name you easy boy Juan easy. That's a good boy. That's right. all right well we just made friends with Juan good Juan's a good guy He's a good boy. Now, what am I doing? Exit right here. But it's a lock, eh? But we don't like locks. Locks are no good. Jacket. I would like to have a jacket. So, what have we here? I imagine we're freezing at this point. You guys ever get like the irrational fear that there's like a spider in your shoe? Like you're gonna put on like something and then you're just like is there a snake in my boot? Are there spiders in my nice. pants? Something could have nested in there while I wasn't paying attention. All right. I guess we're going to shoot the lock, which is almost never a good idea. But do I look like I make good ideas? Don't say anything. About that. All right. I dive into the catacombs and ponder 
are these x-ray catacombs? No, it is a boiler room. <laughs> Close enough. Nothing good happens in either. I assume it's a it's like a basement. Not specifically a boiler room, but I'd imagine there's one down here. Now they show us. Okay. So there's that. It's the Psycho Man. Oh no. He's locking gates and stuff. Okay. It's been a second since we've seen it's Matt. Locked. The hell who did that? Then there's some seriously uncool shit going on up here tonight. It's not very cash money, guys. Man, we gotta put up with Emily now. I can't believe Josh is dead. I can't, I can't believe, believe I'm stuck with died. you. No, I mean, what if they were wrong? What? Maybe we should have checked the shed to see if it was really true. I, I don't know. There are some things that once you see them, you can never unsee them. Yeah, I guess, but some things you have to see for yourself. I'll take them. I think she wants to go. Like, I think that's part of her little sick, twisted fantasy. She wants to see people dead. Look! An axe. I feel better with an axe. Okay. Well, now he feels better. Clue found. Oh, what now? This is locked, Matt. We'll break the door down, will ya? Whoa, wait a second. We start smashing shit down. He's gonna hear us. Well, you got any better suggestions? I don't know. What about... Look. What? The window. That's great, Matt. I can just about fit my lip balm through that little slot. Oh, come on. You will never fit through there, big guy. I won't fit, but you will. Are you nuts? You're gonna shove my ass through that little hole? I've seen you slip into some pretty tight jeans, Em. Uh, excuse me? It's a talent. Think again, lughead. No can do. For one thing, that maniac is probably just sitting there under that window waiting to blend us into pina coladas. <sighs> Okay, fine. If only. Here goes. I'm gonna huff, and I'm gonna... Shh, just do it! But see, this way, we lose the potential cover of having a door. As to say, if something were to, I don't know, come get us while we were here dumb. That's dumb. Oh. Oh, damn. What happened? This is crazy. We were here just a few hours ago. This must have just happened. What the fuck is going on? It's got to be the guy, the, the one who, who got to Chris and Ash and Josh. He's got to know this is the only way back. Don't say that. Look, the cable car's all the way out there. I, I mean, that's not far, right? You you can jump it? <laughs> I'm good, Em. But not that good. Flattered, though. Well, Matt, if you can't jump that, what are we gonna do? I, I don't know. God, everything is, like, so busted up. I think they knew exactly what they were doing. Path cable car, there's a station. Really did a number on this joint. 
Such a mess. This place was barely in working condition before, and now. Can you not talk over me, M? Jelen, maybe we should get the cable car working and take the show on the road, huh? Very friendly. Unfollow. I hate you, Em. I hate you so much. Great. We need a key. No keys, no cable car. So, back to square one. <gasps> what about the fire tower on, on the map you found? What? I guess it's an option. Oh, maybe it has a radio or something. I mean, it, it would, wouldn't it? Probably, yeah. Matt, we gotta get to that radio. Only because it's actually a good idea. To call for help. Somebody's gotta pick up the signal. Oh. Say well, what I will about him. By the rules. Shut up, okay? I just. Rule number one: Emily is always right. Rule number two, nothing else matters because Emily is always right. You are making it uh -huh. so hard to keep you alive. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe, like, my luck is oh, M's gonna be my only survivor. No, you do it. You do it. I'm not doing it. Fine. Looking. Getting us out of here, Mr. Meat for brain. Oh my god, shut up. Be nice for once in your life. This is there's no time to be this aggressively mean. Like I just push her. I can just push her off. She's gone. What are you doing, Matt? Oh. Look at this bad boy. You're coming with me, buddy. And just like magic, come on down. We can totally get out here this way. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. Uh, thanks. Maybe um you should go first to protect me. That's fine. You know, maybe something will come up from the rear. Okay. Okay, easy now. Okay. All right. Oh my gosh. Okay. Almost. Almost. I'm feeling kind of faint. Don't look down. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Holy cannoli, thank God that's over. Yeah, for real. I, don't know, I wish they would try a little harder to make Emily so more sympathetic. That's like, I feel like they do such a good job work. with every character except M, because but it is almost it impossible. We Maybe we can just climb down. Because I feel like any no. first I'm time scary. someone plays this game, they want to see how everybody it's dies, it's and. Like if you want to reward people for subsequent playthroughs, you have to make it fulfilling to save everybody, to kill everybody, so like... Just the fact that Matt puts up with her is just as cringy to me. Like, neither one of these guys are good for each other. It's not a good match. So if they do both make it out alive, they should, uh, they should probably split up.
sounds like chaos. Darn cliff. Yes, Matt. Given the choice, I prefer not to spend my evening plummeting to my death off a snowy cliff top. I would prefer that. Right, well, let's turn around. Get out of my way, you useless person. Back for the animals, and they will not murder you. And that is where we're gonna call this episode. So, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for putting up with my bald head. I'm Slothlord, and I will see you all next time. <laughs>